All right, let's honor her with this question. She says, I am dating a high value masculine man. He helps elevate everyone in his life and doesn't get that in return. How can I serve him and still remain feminine? Fantastic question. I've often said this and I'll keep saying this, ladies and gentlemen, language matters. So why am I saying that? Here's why. A feminine woman does not serve a masculine man. She supports him. And a feminine woman supports her masculine man by doing the following. Whatever he needs that keeps him on task, on purpose, on mission. And remember, the primary way in which a man can remain in purpose, can remain in elevation, can remain in a space in which he can do what he needs to do to make an impact on his life, on his woman's life, and the world is that his woman is caring for herself. It's that simple, ladies. Notice I didn't say easy. The most important thing that you can do to support your masculine man is to take care of yourself, not him. Again, ladies, you are not to fix, you are not to save, you are not to serve your masculine man. The masculine gives, the feminine receives. And the feminine receives most predominantly from herself. She gives to herself. She is her number one priority. And when a feminine woman is fully embodied into her feminine energy, then the masculine man can continue to do what he needs to do in life. So when Paige is taking care of herself, ensuring that her mind, her body, her spirit is taken care of, then I can focus on what I need to do in life. And this woman also asks, well, he doesn't get it in return what he gives to me and to the world around him. And I get it, ladies, this can be incredibly perplexing and confusing because your feminine energy is designed to receive, not to give. His energy is to give and to give and to give. And a healing masculine man always has more to give. Why? Because he is resting, rejuvenating, and taking the time for himself so that he can give more. This is why a masculine man is always on a growth journey, always healing his past wounds and trauma. So in essence, he can step into that dominant masculine energy and give some more. And the masculine man is always seeking other masculine influence, mentoring, and leadership to help sharpen who he is as a man. So I wanna celebrate this woman for softening into her feminine and attracting a dominant masculine man and to let her know to continue to soften and surrender into your feminine. It's the most important thing that you can be for your masculine man. Keep following for more.